what's going on guys so did want to do a quick video i was able to go to the sec championship over the weekend it was actually my birthday on friday and then the dogs took on lsu on saturday so we ended up going to sec fanfare that is a big convention that they do uh, put on by the sec they go into the georgia world congress convention center uh, next to mercedes-benz stadium they have all kind of stuff, SEC, all kind of sponsors, games, you can kick field goals, you can run the 40-yard dash, all kind of things for kids and adults both to have fun. SEC Nation was there that morning, and they had the Low Cash Cowboys uh, there at noon for a concert on Saturday. So we ended up going. I took the cameras, a couple of GoPros, and just wanted to take you through what we were able to see, what we were able to do, and uh, give you just a small glance of what, glimpse of what it does uh, have while you're going into the SEC championship game. If anybody happens to want to go, then uh, this is what you're going to be able to see.
wraps up pretty much everything that I was able to do um, and everybody else. On Friday, it is way less crowded, especially during working hours, we were able to go. Um, but Tim Tebow was there. Again, the Low Cash Cowboys was there. We got to meet Laura Rutledge. She was super sweet. It was very nice to be able to meet her and just really immerse yourself. Fine Bomb was there. And they really do it to where kids can have fun, adults can have fun. And uh, I made some good friends, all the LSU fans that were there. We all had a good time, talked about the game. And uh, as we all know, Georgia did end up winning the SEC championship. 50 to 30 over the LSU Tigers. The Bayou Bengals did have solid uh, stats through the air. Their backup quarterback, Nussmeyer, did a good job. But Stetson and the offense kind of put the game away early in the first half. He had four touchdown passes in the first half. So that did conclude SEC weekend uh, for me. I was super happy about it. It's the first time watching a game in the bins. So if you're going to the game next year, definitely check out SEC Fanfare. They do have a Facebook group uh, that lets you know the hours of operation and give you the directions and everything. Uh, the biggest thing is parking. That would probably be, it is a little bit of a walk. Uh, so anybody that wouldn't like to be walked, uh, probably a quarter to a half mile. Just drop them off at the front and let the one person go do that. Uh, outside of that, it's a fantastic event. It is free admission to go. It doesn't cost anything. A lot of freebies given out. A lot of the corporate sponsors are there. A lot of fun and games, but it's just a, a different kind of thing to get to go out and enjoy, especially if you're going to the game. And even if you can't go to the game itself, it gives you a little bit of fun. You get to see... Uh, former players of the teams, the uniforms, and just immerse yourself kind of in the football element before the game starts. Maybe you go to a sports bar, maybe you go back home and, and do a watch party at your house with your friends and family. So however you want to do it, uh, SEC Fanfare is a lot of fun. As you can see, I had a great time. And um, check it out, guys. So just remember that for next year. And Fam Jam, until next time, go dogs, and I'm out.